This tutorial is brought to you by Hey, what's up guys? My name is Josh Inobakure and welcome to Olufemi Tutorials. Hey, what's up guys? I'm here to talk to you about the jitter effect. The jitter effect can be made in three ways. The keyframe, the reverse overlay, or the blur flicker. I made these up, check this out. Hey, what's up guys? Special tutorial today. I wanna show you guys how to make the jitter effect. There are three versions of the jitter effect they are all play they all play out um, in this next sequence I'm about to show. Check this out. All right, so what I did was I actually blacked out the rest of the the uh, the footage so that you could focus on the three versions of the jitter effect. I'm going to play it one more time and see if you can catch all three. All right. So, I'm going to play I'm going to scrub through this really slowly and show you. So, the jitter effect is basically an effect that shakes the camera digitally. So, Whenever you see the camera shake, um, it's not shaking because I actually went on set when I was shooting this and shook the camera, but it was all done digitally in um, the video editing software. So um, check this out. This is the first jitter effect. I don't know if you saw that. I'm scrubbing slowly. As you can see, the camera shakes up and down. This effect was made literally by going in I'm going to click on this. Let's go over to effect controls and literally putting in keyframes. So as you, um, if you've watched the other tutorial video, um, as far as uh, the basics of After Effects, excuse me, the basics of Premiere Pro, you'll know that you can add keyframes to any effect to change the effect over time. So right here, I'm literally changing the position in the Y direction. I'm going from 370 to 350, 370, 350. And as you can see, this is moving up and down. And this is in effect giving me a jitter effect. This version of the jitter effect, I'm calling the keyframe because all I had to do was keyframe the position. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you guys the second jitter effect. I call it the reverse overlay. Um, what you do is you have footage that is, uh, in this case, we have footage of him kind of turning around with the ball in his hand. And what I did was, if you look down here, I overlaid on top of the original footage, footage that, um, footage that is either offset or is reversed. And then I adjust the opacity so that um, it's lower than 100%, so you can see both footage at the same time and then you flicker it, which means you chop it up into little pieces. And then you overlay it over the original footage. And what you have is this jarring effect, this <laughs> jarring effect. And it's another way to quote unquote shake the camera. You're actually not shaking the camera at all. You're just quickly going um, between two different sorts of, you're going in between two almost, <laughs> sorry, you're going in between two similar um, types of footage, but there's a slight difference. In this case, um, the footage can either be reversed, like if I, I think it might be in this case, or even if you just offset the footage, it's the exact same effect. Um, so I call this type of jar effect, this type of jitter effect, the reverse overlay, because you're basically overlaying um, footage that is slightly different from the original footage, whether it be offset in a little bit or actually straight up reversed. I call it the reverse overlay. Cool, let's play it again. Cool, reverse overlay. Okay guys, so now here's the third type of jitter effect that I use in my videos. Um, <clears throat> I just happen to add it onto the end of this, this action sequence. It's something that I call the 
Blur Flicker. Check this out. It's very, very easy. It's just this portion right here. Um, all it does is you have footage. We have the footage of him, you know, completing his turn. And then you have, you double up on the footage. This footage and this footage is the exact same footage. The only difference is this footage has a directional blur effect. See, so I put, I'm clicking on this footage. Don't worry about any of these, this color correction. Just notice that I have this blur effect on this, on these, on this footage, but I don't have it on this footage. This footage and this footage is exactly the same thing, but I chopped this footage up on top and I put the blur effect on each of these. And what you have is you have this really weird flicker jitter. Check this out. Got to catch it. It's easy to miss. So it's easy to miss, but it gives you a jitter effect. I'm going to play through it slowly by scrubbing it through and you can kind of, you can kind of notice. So it's kind of gives you a cool effect. You're actually not shaking the camera again. All you're doing is you're alternating between blurry and non blurry footage and it gives you a really cool look. Um, we're going to play through all three of these effects again right now. Check this out. Play it through all of them again. All of them again. Bam, two, three. Cool. And that is the jitter effect. The three versions of the jitter effect that I basically made uh, just using trial and error. Um, feel free to um, use it yourself and please uh, post your versions. I'd love to see them. Thanks.